What's up, everybody? Welcome back. Today we are going to go through a payoff press. This is going to be one of your best anti-rotation exercises that you can do for your core. Why we need that is because our core is all about stability. We need to keep this from moving around all over the place while we are doing fun things, especially lifting weights. So how do we do that? How do we train that? We tax different rotations and trying to keep that stable. So what we're gonna do is we're hooking up a band. You can use one of the big loop pull-up bands, anything like that for this. Make sure it's not too heavy. Big goal is that we are going to stay nice and stable. A couple different variations that we're gonna go through to make it easier or harder, especially is going to be foot placement. Obviously stepping in, stepping out. If you got the bands, is gonna make it a little bit easier or a little bit harder. So starting off, we're gonna go feet kind of right underneath our hips. From here, we're just pressing out nice and straight. Big thing is that I don't wanna see that big kind of curve where you're getting out to the side and you're getting that big motion going out and over. So if that's easy, feels really good, no problems, what we are gonna do is we're gonna go feet together. We're gonna have those feet together we're gonna come, same thing, nice little press out, coming back. If that's too easy, we can take a little step out, keeping those feet together, little press. Again, really making sure that you're not getting any of that rotation. You want this to be nice and stable. If you kind of feel that little pull at the end and you're really fighting it, that's gonna be the level that I want you to be at. We're definitely doing these on both sides. You're doing right and left. Really wanna train both of those big obliques and everything else that's keeping us nice and stable through that rotation or lack of rotation that we are trying to go through. If you want to go even crazier, you can go one toe coming out or you can even go one leg. One leg is going to be a little bit more taxing on the hip as well. So it's going to be a little bit less in the core, a little bit more in the hip but you can play around with those different variations to try and see if one of those fits best for you. One of my favorite core exercises, definitely if you have any back issues, this one is one that you need to try out. Hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like it and subscribe to our YouTube channel so we can keep bringing you videos to keep you living an active and healthy life.